All right, folks. So in the last segment, you learned how to uh, under, how to graph a logarithmic function, right? We, um, we took a logarithmic function like log base 2 of x, and we learned that logarithmic functions have a vertical asymptote, whereas exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote. Uh, the logarithmic function uh, goes vertical, whereas the exponential function goes flat. And then after going vertical, the logarithmic function starts to flatten out, but it doesn't come com become completely flat. It just gets flatter and flatter and flatter as it approaches to infinity, right? Okay. We took the function and we learned how to draw the graph so that we could see the shape of a logarithmic function. Now what we're going to do in this segment is I'm going to show you the graphs of different logarithmic functions, and I'm going to show you how you can identify the base of any logarithmic function just by looking at the graph. Now when I say base, I want to remind you what I mean if I have a function f of x equals log, and then there's a little number down here, let's say that says uh, 8, and then of x, right? And here, this little tiny 8 here, that is the base of the logarithm. It's the same thing as the base of the exponent. If we were to write the inverse of this function, it would be f of x is equal to 8 to the x power. These two functions are siblings, okay? They are brother and sister or sisters or brothers, okay? They both have a base of 8 and they are both dealing in an exponent, okay? So basically what we're about to do in trying to identify the base is very similar to what you did when you identified the base of an exponential function, when you were looking at the graph of an exponential function. So I want you to see that there are similarities in what we're about to do with what you just learned uh, in the last set of lessons, okay? So let's go ahead and look at an exponential, or excuse me, a logarithmic function here. Uh, so here is a logarithmic function. We got a coordinate plane. And now you'll see here, this is the graph. It's, it's in, I don't know if you see it as green, but it's in green. It's coming up here, and it's going up here. So it's vertical right here. At the y-axis, it's vertical, right? And then it goes through the point 0, 1, like we said all of them are supposed to do. And then it kind of goes off and becomes flatter as it goes. So this is a, the graph of a logarithmic function. Okay? And we want to try and figure out how do we identify this logarithmic function. Well, all logarithmic functions, all basic parent logarithmic functions. Now you know eventually what we're going to do is we're going to reflect them and we're going to uh, translate them left and right, up and down. But for right now, in this segment, I only want to identify the base. All of them are going to look like this. Log with some number that's going to go right here of x. Every single one of them. So all we're doing in this video is we're trying to figure out what number goes right here. Okay. Now, there is a little bit of a difference. We know that if the, if the number that goes here is e, that we're not going to write it as log base e of x. If it was e, we would write it as ln of x. But that would be the same thing as log base e of x. Okay. All right, so if we find that the base of the graph is e, we're going to write it as natural log of x. But if it's not e, then we're going to write it as log base number of x. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're going to do every single time, um, remember the, the rule for doing exponential functions is draw in the asymptote. Same rule here. First thing we're going to do is draw in the asymptote. Now, with exponential functions, we were looking for where it went flat, and that was the, the horizontal asymptote. But logarithms are the inverses of exponential functions, and therefore, instead of having a horizontal asymptote, they're going to have a vertical asymptote. So you want to look where the, the logarithm goes vertical, and here's where it goes vertical, right here. And therefore, this is where our vertical asymptote is going to be. And for the first several ones we do, it's going to be right on the y-axis. All right, so we've got our vertical asymptote. Second thing we want to do is we want to identify the point. Just like exponential functions have this special point, the point, and if you recall, that special point was 0, 1. Well, on a logarithm, on a graph of a logarithm, it's, it's, it's the inverse of this. 
it's one zero. So all of them are going to go through one zero right there. That's the point. Okay. So after we've identified the point where the log is going through, uh, where all the logarithms go through, the next thing we're going to do to identify the base is we're going to go one unit up or down. Whereas with exponential functions, we would go one unit to the right or left because this is an inverse, we're going to go one unit up or down. And so uh, we can go down or we can go up. And we always want to go to wherever we're between the asymptote and the curve. If we go one unit down, we're not between the, the graph and the asymptote. Okay, that's over here. If we go up, we are between the graph and the asymptote, and that's where we want to go. So we go one unit up. Then we go toward the asymptote, which is left. We're going to go to right here. And from here, we're going to go over to the curve. And whatever that distance is, that is the base of the logarithm. And the distance from the asymptote over to the curve along this line is 2. Therefore, this logarithm is log base 2 of x. So we're going to say f of x equals log with a little tiny 2, log base 2, parenthesis, of x, okay? So this, this curve that we have here is log base 2 of x. All right, let's try another one. All right, so here's another one. You want to try, maybe pause the video and see if you can figure this one out on your own? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the vertical asymptote. Here's where the graph goes vertical. So we're going to draw in the vertical asymptote right there. We're going to plot the point, which is at 1, uh, one and 0, which is right here. Okay, All the logarithms go through that point. All the basic logarithms go through that point. Then we're going to go one unit up. And along this horizontal line, we want to measure the distance from the asymptote over to the curve. Well, here's the asymptote. So from here, now we're going to go all the way over to the curve. It looks like it's a good distance there. Right about here, it looks like. Here, at, at 5, the graph is a little bit below that line, and at 7, it's a little bit above that line. So it's crossing over right at 6. Therefore, the distance from the asymptote to this line from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have a base of 6. And therefore, the graph of this function is f of x equals log base 6 of x. There we go. All right. Let's try another one. All right. You want to try this one? Pause the video and see if you can figure this one out on your own. All right, so I'm going to put in the vertical asymptote. Here's where the logarithm goes vertical. So I'm going to put in a vertical asymptote. Okay, And then I'm going to um, go one unit over right where the, where the point is. Right, It's at 1, 0, so I'm going to plot the point. Then I'm going to go one unit up from there and along this horizontal line. But, but I'm going to go up and then back to the asymptote. I'm not going to start counting from here. I've got to go back to the asymptote here. And then along this line, count until I get to the curve, which is right there. And you knew this was eventually coming. You knew I was going to do this example. So here, the curve uh, hits this line somewhere between 2 and 3. And it's closer to 3. And you know, you've heard me say this several times, when it's above 2 and less than 3, but closer to 3, it's automatically E, right? And therefore, this is, well, we could write log base e of x, but you know that we're not supposed to write that. We're actually supposed to write the natural log of x, okay? Because natural log is log base e, okay? Let's just do maybe one or two more examples. All right, uh, here's another one. Do you want to try pausing the video and see if you can figure it out? All right, so I'm, first thing I'm going to do is go to where it goes vertical, and I'm going to draw in the vertical asymptote right along the y-axis. There we go. Then I'm going to plot the point, which is at 1, 0. That's right here. Okay. Then I'm going to go one unit up from there. Okay. Now, when we do the reflection, eventually there could be some situations where we have to go down one instead of up one, and that's if it's reflected vertically, right? But for now, we're going to go up one, go back to the asymptote, and we're going to start here, and we're going to measure from here over to the curve, which is right there. Count the distance. One, two, three, four. Therefore, this is f of x is equal to log base 4 of x. Okay, we're going to do just one more. All right, last example here. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure this one out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the vertical asymptote. It's going to go right, along, right where the curve goes vertical, which is on the y-axis. I'm going to plot the point 1, 0, which is right here. I'm going to go one unit up. 
and then back to the asymptote right here, and I'm going to count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. To where it crosses. It's just a little bit low here and a little bit high here. It's crossing over at eight. Therefore, the distance of eight in, uh, indicates that this is f of x is equal to log base eight of x. Okay? All right, so if you can identify the base of a logarithm from the graph, that's now put you in position to where you can uh, identify any logarithm from its graph. Uh, but now we've got to move on to understand how do we identify reflections that are vertical or reflections that are horizontal.